recomiendo a mis amigos de BND Law Group, los mejores abogados. Welcome to my channel, everybody. Today we're gonna see this uh, 2016 Fernando Cascadia. They is having a problem, and um, it's something that can happen to anybody. It's a very basic uh, uh, checkup, uh, really maintenance thing you have to do uh, on these drugs, and this is the problem that this uh, 2016 Cascadia has. So the problem is then um, the differential rank of oil, and. Uh, and now uh, the differential is completely broken. As you can see, they're looking at the differential right there because we are going to uh, my cable uh, because we are going to replace the differential. We're trying to look for a used one right there. Hopefully, it's the same. And if not the same, we have to um, uh, look for a different one because you know, even though in the housing is still the same. That doesn't mean that the differential is going to work because of the ratio of the differential changes and that is going to be a big problem but anyway at this moment that's what they're doing right here they're looking at everything but so what happened here is the uh differential run of uh, water foil and you can see all the debris right there that is because um uh, uh, see all that see that's metal see focus yeah, there, see that is metal because it was grinding with no lubrication and you can see the oil around it it's kind of like grease because it got burned completely and uh, of course the differential is not functional anymore so we have to clean uh the housing of the differential because uh you uh, as you know if the differential is damaged uh, we have to clean the area so when we install the new or use differential um, it's going to have the best uh, functions and um, and work the best because you know all these debris around the differential are really bad so if this happens to your truck you have to uh, clean the housing very well, remove all the debris and also uh, buy new differential oil to get the maximum lubrication and uh, let's see here so this is what happened to the differential right there that's the damage it's a pretty big damage and uh, we also have damage in the interior of the differential and this is because of the lack of lubrication um, the truck wasn't able to run anymore so that's what happened um, and, and it's, it's really the reason why it wasn't able to, to run anymore because see uh, if we rotate that right here it just doesn't rotate you see it is completely broken you can hear the noise and in there is the broken piece so this piece in here is out it's completely welded uh, we cannot even move it so that's the reason why the differential was not even moving at all the truck had to be towed to uh to the shop because uh it couldn't run anymore and yes um if you happen to have this problem then you see an orifice like this on your differential the differential completely destroyed and that is uh is it the mismo? oh yeah this is this is this is this is so at this point we're looking uh, matching numbers. <laughs> oh, sí, sí, es el mismo. Taxi. Parece que sí. Si no. Si no, no tiene plaquita ¿verdad? ni nada. ¿verdad? Placa no. Pero sí tienen los mismos números. Los malos números esos. Bueno, hay que hay que ver. ¿no? Aquí hay que limpiar la gima ahí. Sí. Y aquí tienen el número. Oh, sí. Ajá. Aquí tienen el número alrededor. Hay que limpiarle, uh -huh. hay que limpiarle bien. 
y hay que ver aquel que tenga el mismo número. Ok, so uh, in this case, uh, because we are looking for matching numbers for the differential over there, what we have to do is see the ring gear right here and see if we can have match matching numbers with the ratio. As I say, because we cannot just like replace the differential. And this differential doesn't have a tag. That's the reason why it's a little harder to know. Um, we have numbers, but it's not a specific tag. So we can see. Uh, the housing is pretty much the same, but Yes, it's, it's kind of complicated when you guys are looking for a differential. It's not just to replace the differential. It's to actually be sure that the differential that we are going to install, it is exactly the same because of the uh, uh, gear ratios. And if you, we don't apply the right gear ratios, we're gonna have a problem with the uh, speed or power of the, of the truck. And as you know, you have to remove the the axles to get the differential out if you don't remove the axles you won't be able to do it uh, here is the differential once again um, i mean the housing of differential and uh yes uh and also we uh, have the ratios here on the ring gear so we have to clean it pretty well so we can get the right numbers and uh, measure it with the other differential to get the uh, the proper uh, number then we need to get this truck to run in the right uh, ratio but as it is uh, this is a very important topic nobody nobody in general pays attention to differentials but differential is one of the most important part of a truck uh, simply because the differential is the one that tra transmits the power from the uh, power train all the way to the tires to the wheels and if you if we don't have a way to transmit the power from the engine and transmission to the ground uh, we, don't, we don't go anywhere and that is uh, the reason why it's very important to inspect the differential in this case since we have this problem already uh, we are going to do uh, service the differential, the middle differential in this case, but we are also going to do uh, service on the rear differential. Uh, we are going to uh, drain the fluid and um, apply new oil to prolong the life of the differential. Hopefully it doesn't have any damage and if it does, it's going to be uh, more expensive for the truck owner, which uh, he uh, he's already spending a lot of money since he had to tow the truck to bring it here to the shop and now he will have to uh, um, uh, pay for the repair and the housing uh, as I say is broken so the core is no longer uh, accepted so the only way to save a little money is to get a used one that's the reason why we are working on that used one and see if we can install it no we have to find the best shot to get uh, this truck back in the road but uh, this is a very important topic that you guys need to know about uh, differentials and um, any truck doesn't matter if you have a King or a Pirel Blue Volvo International Freightliner they all have the same uh, principle when it comes to differentials and if lubrication doesn't exist on, um, on differentials they are going to go bad so um, I assume then all you have to do is uh, check the differential level at least every 200,000 miles as minimum uh, checking the differential probably every two oil change will be the best but sometimes too much uh, but you know if you have the time that will be the best but at least you know like uh, every 200 miles 200,000 miles you have to check it and every 400 to 500,000 miles uh, do a differential fluid replacement so that way the differential uh, fluid inside the differential keeps all the moving parts completely lubricated and without any possible damage and they can cause just simply because the differential fluid is all but as it is i just have this information to you very important information uh, um, don't uh, don't uh, forget about your differential also your transmissions too so if you do that is going to be very expensive as it is to the stroke so uh, so far this owner has uh, has spent around like uh, $1,500 to bring the truck over here plus the differential replacement probably it's going to be around $5,000 just for this 
but anyway uh this is all i have for you guys and uh if you want to comment below that would be great so that way you can share all the thoughts or the opinions that you have about this uh differential and uh and if you guys can uh, uh leave your uh thoughts your opinions on anything else then can be helpful for the for, for this uh, uh video that would be good because you know we all need to know new information information then sometimes we don't have in hand but uh, if you guys have it that would be great so that way this video will be completely uh, uh informative more than whatever it is now so uh follow my channel if you want to see more videos um and uh Hopefully I will do more informative videos the way I'm doing it. And I have a new channel called B School Mechanic. Uh, that channel will be about explaining uh, more about mechanic, mechanic work. Um, it will be like details, mostly school, school style details. Um, but this will be all for the moment, for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Master Francisco Maya YouTube, and thank you for watching.